Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So today is part three of my pale greens and these are greens that have got different finishes and didn't really fit into the other two categories. So I think I've got about, yeah, I've got ten here to show you. Um, before I start on my nails, this is Mantis from the Here Come the Boys collection and you've got to ignore my cuticles because my hands are just a mess at the moment and I've been picking a little bit but if you can look past the cuticles and see the flakes, the beautiful flakes um, I'll put a macro picture here so that you can see this one it's just absolutely beautiful with these gold flakes that just kind of float and sit on the top of the polish you can see there um, I've dinked my nails terribly but that's not because of Mantis it's because of the base coat that I've got underneath but I'll, I'm gonna do a haul with that and I'll explain all about that <laughs> at some point you will have either seen it or it's coming up so let's make a start on these polishes here so here are the polishes this really is just going to be a matter of swatching them and deciding whether or not there are any that I just don't like or uh, I wouldn't necessarily reach for or wear. Now I think most of them I will be and this one here is um, Revlon Parfumery and this one is Winter Mint which is actually a dupe of Deborah Lippmann's Mermaid's Tail. Um, and it's just whether or not I want to keep this one. Uh, it's very, still very minty. Still got the uh, the minty scent to it. But I do have the Deborah Lippmann, which is almost an exact dupe for this. Um, I think this one was sent to me by Debbie, Sister Chic. So I don't know. I might just I might put this in the maybe pile. Um, because it is a polish that I enjoy and it's kind of like, do I need a backup of Mermaid's, t Mermaid's Tears? Mermaid's Dream. <laughs> Mermaid something by Deborah Littman. So that's that one, one coat. Um, this is my Illamasqua, the speckled, uh, and this one's called Mottle, the green one. Um, I've actually pulled out Scarce this month to wear because I have got a lot of green otherwise I would have definitely pulled this one out so it's just a very pretty matte it's kind of very similar base to MILF um, maybe a little bit brighter but it's got these really pretty black matte glitters and in a similar vein is the NYC Midtown Muse and um, I'm always, every time I swatch this polish, I'm always really surprised at how great the formula is um, and just how many glitters you get. Um, and it's very smooth, great formula. Uh, and I'm not going to de-stash either of these because they are slightly different from each other and I do love that speckled effect. Okay, let's look at this one. This is a KB Shimmer. It's called Daisy About You. And this was sent to me by Amanda, the nail polish hound. Now, I have swatched this one before and it was a little bit thick for me. It's packed with glitters. Um, yeah, it's weird because it's got grey. Oh, I didn't realise that. They're kind of flower glitters. Um, but uh, these are the kind of Crellies that I just can't, I, I'm not very good at, at figuring out how to use them. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that Amanda, I'm sure she won't mind me, um, passing on this KB Shimmer. There's probably about this much left in it. And I'm sure it's a really, really pretty polish, but I don't know how to manipulate it into looking any better than just a bit lumpy on the nail. I do like those flower glitters though. Um, yeah, I'll see what it's like on a second coat. But that's the KB Shimmer. Um, okay, another 
finish that's slightly different. This is a very um, like grey silvery green and this is Passport to Happiness which is one from one of the bridal collections. Um, it's the same one that had Mrs Always Right and I do like this shade. I like the fact that it's got the shimmer in. You can see that although it's quite a subtle shimmer um, and it doesn't have any kind of flash or duochrome or anything but I just like the shade. It's a very kind of subtle shade. I forget how much I like this actually and the formula is great so I'm definitely keeping that one. So next one is uh, this very pale, <clears throat> I do have quite a few green holographics but this is probably one of the palest and this is Very Decent by Emily de Molly. I've seen quite a few Emily de Molly polishes that I like the look of on Rainbow Connection. Um, this is one of those sheer holographics that needs to be built up but it is very holographic. So that's very decent. I think that'll probably be okay on two coats actually. And then these four here are creams but pale cream greens that wouldn't really fit into the category in the other videos. This is more of a, um, it's like a neon pastel and this one's called Pistache from Sinful Colours. And I don't have many neon pastels. So this is actually quite unusual. For me, I don't have too many in this particular shade. So that's Pistache. And then this one here was sent to me by Lou Louise Loopy Frog and this is Navigate Her. I remember wearing this and just being like completely blown away by the colour. It's a sort of ugly pretty green um, but it's again it's really unusual it's kind of like um, it's tipping into khaki but there's so there is a greyness to it but there's also a bit of spring green to it as well. I just absolutely love that shade. So that's an unusual one. This one is Chilato and I think I remember I remember wearing this and liking it. It's it's got the skinny brush which immediately puts me off. Um it's a very yellow green. And the formula's not Bad. It's not bad, but the fact that it's got a skinny brush is making me want to de-stash it. And then finally, this is a polish that's been dis. This is a colour that's been discontinued um, by Essence, which I can't believe. It's Pretty Cool Life, which is just a beautiful, cool green, like soft pastel. It's absolutely gorgeous shade, and it's a great formula as well typical essence these little gel essence gel polishes are great so I'm going to do a second coat and we can come back and take a closer look and see if I'm going to be de-stashing any of these polishes okay so here's a second coat not all of them needed it the SE Passport to Happiness didn't need it, the Simple Colours Pistache didn't need it and as you can see I've struggled a little bit here, well quite a bit with this uh, KB Shimmer Crelly. So let's get into a ruthless state of mind. <laughs> well first of all these two are going nowhere because I absolutely love black matte glitters and they are a different shade so I'm going to keep them and I'll probably try and put a note somewhere not to swatch them and just wear them. Um, this one here, the Winter Mint Revlon, I am actually going to give this away. Um, and I know that Debbie won't mind that. I've got the Deborah Lippmann, but there is... 
I just, I'm not keen on the minty scent. It's mint. It is very minty. Um, so it does still have the scent, but it's just not something that I'm really. Uh, yeah, I'm just not keen on the scent. So I am actually going to give this one away. Um, I'm also going to give away the KB Shimmer just because I can't. I I don't know how to deal with these crelly chunky glitters um and i'm just gonna end up wasting it and making a mess of it so it's got these very pretty i mean i can't see those um flower glitters there in the bottle but you can definitely see them on the nail or on the swatch well my bad job of it there but yeah those gray flower shapes um, I just, I, yeah, um, it's just a little bit too thick. So this one here is the Passport to Happiness. I'm definitely keeping that one. Just a really pretty, I'm going to get this in a bigger bottle if I ever see it. The Emily de Molly, I'm going to keep just because it's the only pale green holographic that I've got, like this kind of spring green. So I am going to keep that. I'm definitely going to keep pistache which is a beautiful shade um I'd, yeah i just love this one i didn't realize how much actually i need to wear this one soon it clashes with my red skin <laughs> but i love it um this one is navigate her which i love this shade very unique not going anywhere this is chilato which i'm actually going to de-stash i do like it i do like it but I'm going to de-stash it because of the skinny brush. I just know I won't, I just won't reach for it. I won't wear it. Um, it's got to be a really special kind of shade for me to deal with those skinny brushes. Um, and this one really isn't particularly, not for me anyway. Um, and so I'm going to put that in my shop because I think I've only worn it once. And I'm definitely keeping Pretty Cool Life from Essence. So I'm keeping seven of the ten. I'm going to give these two away. If there's anybody who's interested um, in the comments down below, let me know. And Chilato, I'm going to put in the shop. And yeah, that's it for now. Um, not been interrupted by dogs or husbands, which is always nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!